to yet another Plasticon Combiner Wars review. Today we're going to look at Trailbreaker. Yeah, Trailbreaker. You know, the guy that was named Trailcutter and Tail, I don't freaking know. They completely lost his name and now he actually got his name back. Yeah, that guy. I like this truck. Yes, this mold's been used several different times and honestly, I think this is probably the proper use of this mold. I'm absolutely digging the fact that they brought this whole prism scheme of like lines and such that's so retro that's not even funny and you would never catch this on trucks and cars nowadays. I mean, this is literally a lost art nowadays. I love that kind of lining. It's just so cool. Not to mention that they really give him some really bright, kind of brighter colored blue windows, which is neat. I don't mind this color of blue. It's got a bit of a sparkle to it, which is kind of nice. And some decent paintwork there, picked out there in the front. Not to mention place to place his axe, which actually would make sense because he's trail breaker and he goes off roading. So why wouldn't he have an axe? I mean, come on. And it pops off, and then you've got this whole entire hand foot gun thing, which kind of fills finishes it out. It would have been really neat if they were able to do something weird with this to make this like bulk out and look more like a camper or something, I don't know. But they tried. That pops right off. Then you got some decent detail here on the very back. Not to mention some silver canister looking thing here. We'll talk about that more when we get into robot mode. But very neat. You like him a lot. And speaking of the robot mode, let's get on to that one. robot mode. I love the idea that they took the hand foot gun and turned it into his force field generator up here. kind of adds that whole thing behind his head syndrome. I have to say they nailed the head sculpt. Though. The head sculpt's very well done. It's very trail breaker even down to the blue visor. I love the idea that they actually gave him a different type of arm here though. This is completely a new remold of a piece that hasn't been used yet and it's really cool to see that they turned it into an arm cannon it is a five millimeter port so i mean you can take his axe or even the hand foot gun and place it in there and then it will actually work just fine see if i can get this to fit. It should fit in there fine. and it's probably just going to call me a liar okay well do this that way he's got spinning axe action because you know that's the thing <laughs> anyway this right here just kind of pops right into the back it doesn't really hold securely it's just kind of a added addition that just kind of sits back there it's really neat that they did that I like the idea that there's more red here they really just stuck with the actual trail breaker colors even down to actually painting this forearm here silver Instead of just leaving the whole thing black or painting the whole thing red. This actually is a very nice trail breaker, especially for modern aesthetic. Great articulation, and it looks really, really good. Probably one of my favorite that's come out in the entire line, considering, you know, it did come with a really weird, odd thing here, which is more like a claw versus the normal hand foot guns we've been getting. I mean, this part here is identical, and so is this and this. But it's just this part right here, completely remolded differently. Would have been neat to see more of this happen in Combiner Wars, but it didn't. But anyhow, it's been blasting on. This is yet another Combiner Wars Generations, wherever you're going to stick these guys on your shelf review. And I will see you guys around, because you got more. See you around. Bye. Trailbreaker could be yours for the low cost of 15 bucks.